Thank you very much indeed. You can tell I'm a really an IT person because I have my cards. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I am very pleased to be receiving this special award because I've known AbilityNet from pretty well start. Uh, and particularly here in BT Centre, because my career started in the post office research station at Dollis Hill, which morphed into BT. And I was an active member of something called the Real Time Club, which um, was the early lobbyist to get telecommunications out from the post office and into BT, so I sort of feel a bit at home. I like to do new things and make new things happen. All my wealth, because you've heard I was a refugee, all my wealth comes from my 30 plus years in my own company, uh, in what became the FI Group. Then it changed its name to Zanza PLC, and now it's, after 45 years, it became part of Steria. I founded this as a social business back in 1962 as a software house for women, a software house of women, and it made a significant difference on the professionalism of women, especially in high tech. 62, this was. Now, some of my wealth has gone back into the IT industry. Um, I gave over 10 million to the Oxford Internet Institute, which focuses on the social impact of the internet, devoted really to studying those issues. And five million to the IT company, livery company, which you've heard of earlier today because it sponsored uh, the volunteer award. Um, and that IT company has been working alongside uh, AbilityNet. I've always concentrated on the social, economic, legal, and ethical issues, both on te technology for women uh, and appropriately for the 4th of July, uh, for independent living for those with disabilities. In 1981, the International Year of Disabled People, I moved from the use of computing for things like robotics to its potential for communications. The blind to see, the deaf to hear was my headline. And also in guiding people with autism into understanding and so a better quality of life. My late son Giles was autistic, but also learning disabled, uh, without speech, and epileptic, very vulnerable. But he really inspired me to donate a lot of money to the autism sector itself. Uh, my largest autism project, 30 million and five years of my life, uh, now has, I mean, wonderful, iPads being used by both the pupils and adult students of Prior's Court School, uh, all learning disabled uh, and with autism, many without speech, but all having what the social workers call challenging behavior. <laughs> One of my early projects was Autism 99, at the third ever virtual conference, the first in the disability field. The idea, which seems obvious now but wasn't then, was that the internet could be used to bring together people of specialist knowledge of autism from all over the world at a fraction of the cost and inconvenience of a conventional international event. And that online conference was a spectacular success. Uh, 65,000 people, uh, research scientists, and those uh, with first-hand experience of the disorder from 114 countries, um, some so, I had to get an atlas out to find where, where, they, where they were, very small places. Um, they took part in Autism 99, and the connections they forged made a living legacy of relationships around the world. Probably my latest project, and it is only probably because I have an exploratory meeting next week in Dublin, is targeted to develop employment opportunities for people at an, the intellectual end of the autistic spectrum who have Asperger's syndrome. And the target is for a million, yes, a million, employed in the IT industry by 2020. And I know that BT has been a pioneer in that, that area. Much to everybody's surprise, I accepted 
um, an invitation to serve on the board of the Atomic Energy Authority, including when it privatized. And we used to speak about nucleonics as an unforgiving technology. But technology is neutral, neither good nor bad. It's the use we put it to that can make it technology for good. I try always to remember that technology does not drive change. It enables change. Ladies and gentlemen, my sincere thanks go to the Pan Disability Ability Net, um, and I also to BT for its help this afternoon. Uh, I'm honored to receive this special award, and thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.